1943, the first six pounds of DDT arrived in the United States. It was tested by various government agencies, and before the war was out, we were producing tons of it. Then after the war, the use of DDT expanded into agriculture, forestry, and uh, commercial and residential. It was used in hospitals. It was used everywhere. Uh, the peak year for its use was 1959, when there were 80 million pounds of DDT um, applied in the United States. So, again, by the end of the 1950s, 1960s, DDT and a host of now other related insecticides that were chemically similar um, had come into really widespread use. In 1945, Rachel Carson learned that the Fish and Wildlife Service had been doing tests on DDT. Uh, at the Patuxent Research Center in Maryland, which is very near where she lived in Silver Spring. And um, these tests indicated that DDT maybe wasn't as harmless to other forms of life as had initially been thought. At his press conference on August 29, 1962, President Kennedy was asked, There appears to be growing concern among scientists as to the possibility of dangerous long-range side effects from the widespread use of DDT and other pesticides. Have you considered asking the Department of Agriculture or the Public Health Service to take a closer look at this? Yes, I, 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 and I know that they uh, already are. I think particularly, of course, uh, since Ms. Carson's book, but uh, they are examining the matter. The presidential commission that Kennedy ordered, uh, as I mentioned earlier, essentially confirmed that Silent Spring was correct. It didn't really have any enforcement um, authority at that point, so not a lot changed at, at first. But Carson was asked to testify uh, uh, before the United States Senate. Biologist Rachel Carson, who also wrote The Sea Around Us, worked four years in the preparation of Silent Spring. What she wrote started a national quarrel. Chemicals are the sinister and little recognized partners of radiation in changing the very nature of the world, the very nature of its life. These sprays, dusts, and aerosols are now applied almost universally to farms, gardens, forests, and homes. Can anyone believe it is possible to lay down such a barrage of poisons on the surface of the earth without making it unfit for all life? They should not be called insecticides, but biocides. After her death from breast cancer in 1964, uh, the environmental movement continued to pick up steam with Silent Spring as kind of one of its main touchstones. Um, the formation of the EPA in 1970 by the Nixon administration was something that Carson and her uh, colleagues had discussed for a long time uh, as being something that the government needed to have. And, um, and then in 1972, uh, among the first orders of business for, for the EPA was, was to ban DDT and about a dozen other closely related insecticides.